spotlight today, we've got not one, but two cheapos. Going on cheapo pleasure. That's right, they are the 830Ls. One of them is the Victor VC 830L. The other is a generic, no name, XL 830L. And we're gonna look at both of these cheapies and figure out if they're any good. Now people love to hate these meters. Why? Well, I'm not so sure. Probably because they're just so cheap. Now is that any reason not to like something? I don't think so. Because cheap can be good as we have learned to expect in the cheap realm. I need a little bit of history. Um, Li Hong, if you've ever heard of that name before, he's one of the pioneers of the Chinese meter industry. He's the one that actually invented, or one of the people that invented, the uh, 830 series multimeter. Yes, can you believe it? Thank you, Mr. Hong. Now, Li Hong eventually founded a company called Shenzhen Zotec Instruments Limited. And as we all know, this is a high-tech company specializing in R&D and electronic measuring instruments, AKA multimeters. So as time has evolved, so has that original series of cheap multimeters. Today, we're looking at a couple of new incarnations. This one is spanking new, the 830L from Victor. And this one is new, albeit not quite as spanky as the Victor, but we're gonna take a look at both. Now the Victor shipped in a really nice box. Uh, thank you, Mr. Victor. Uh, in that box, we have, a couple of really cool things. Starting off with the test leads, um, they're a little bit different than what we've been seeing as of late. They have that really small shroud on the end, but um, the leads themselves, let's do the old pull test. You know, I gotta say, surprisingly not too shabby. That box, well, we got a nice nine volt battery which actually we don't see all the time coming from Asia. And I thought this was a toothbrush. I thought, wow, how nice they want me to have clean teeth. Well, not really. No, this is a, a USB light. Um, go figure. So there is no USB port on the meter, but you know what? You can never have too many of these USB lights. And finally, hey, look at this. No word of a lie. Look at the fuses that came with this multimeter. Oh my God, it's insane. I haven't seen so many fuses. I got more fuses than the Pope has crosses. That is a lot of fuses. Wow. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Ten fuses in here. Ten fuses. So either that's a really bad omen because this thing perhaps blows fuses every single minute. Hopefully not. Other than that, it might just be a really generous seller. And I'm actually gonna provide the link to the seller at the bottom of the video. And what else do we have here? The uh, Victor VC 830L, little user manual, all in Chinese, but basically it is nothing more than a spec sheet, which is all we really need. And we'll go over the specs in just a minute. Okay, that's what came with the Victor. Now, we did not get a box with the XL 830L. It shipped in a little piece of bubble wrap and we've got a set of test leads. Now in comparison to the Victor, these feel more plasticky, more cheap. The Victor seems a little more um, solid. Uh, just, I don't know, nicer. But yeah, same thin, small shroud on the edges. And finally we have our instruction manual. This one is actually in English. Once again, really nothing more than a quick to do spec sheet. Now, as you can see, this came in plastic wrap. And I thought I would share this pleasurable experience with you, the viewers. I don't know about you, but that felt really, really nice thing about the Victor right away is, um, yes, it does take an iPhone battery, but look at that. We have a nice threaded insert. Looks like a brass insert. So it doesn't matter how many times you take that battery out, you're not gonna mess up the housing. I like it. Now for the XL generic, I don't think we're gonna be in such luck. No, it def definitely feels cheaper. And yeah, look at that, just a little crappy hole in the middle of nowhere. And yeah, all right, so you know who won this one. In terms of the actual specs on the meters, the Victor goes up to 20 mega ohm as opposed to only 2 mega ohm 
for the XL830L. Now we do have a transistor tester as well. Some people think this is a bit of a fluff. I tend to agree, but you know what? It's still there and it's being implemented. So what the heck, the Victor does not have the HFE testing. Now, the big thing I would say probably is the fact that here we see a hold and this is a standard touch hold, nothing fancy, but it's a hold nonetheless. We don't have this option on the Victor as well. There is a backlight, which is once again, not available on the Victor. So in terms of just overall functionality, I'd have to say the XL probably takes it unless that extra 20 mega ohm makes or breaks your bank. Quick look at the cats. And I don't mean the type that go meow. No, we're talking cat two, cat three. Now, according to the Victor, it's a cat three, 600 volt. That is just bogus. Here we've got a cat two rating 600 volt on the XL A30L. This is much more realistic. Cat two being residential home wiring, what have you. I want to hit cat three is starting to talk about uh, big size motors, industrial technology, and eh, ain't gonna happen with this guy. Definitely more of a cat two. Uh, tilt stand, which you don't always see in this cheap range. Now when I'm talking cheap, I'm talking like between eight to 10 bucks Canadian for these guys. So that's already, let's turn on these puppies, starting off with Mr. Victor. And we've got that nice big bold LCD display. Once again, no backlight. And we will do the same with the XL830L and Smaller digits, in fact, wow, that is literally half the size of the Victor. Now you will see a backlight can play a big difference here. Once again, no backlight on the Victor, but it is definitely nice and easy on the eyes on the XL E30L. Now that backlight only stays on for about 20 seconds, and then it slowly fades to black, as you can see. But hey, it has a backlight. Starting off with the DC Precision Volt Tester, 0.249, we should be looking at 0.250, but we are definitely close with the Victor. Next, we want to see 2.50 volts, 2.49. Hey, that is close enough. Should be looking at 0.250 millivolts, and look at that in the 250 millivolts, spot on. Good stuff, XLA30L. Now let's try 2.50, gotta bring it up a notch. And yes! Two for two, 2.50 spot on volts. Good job, XLA30L. You are the winner, at least for this round. We're gonna start off with a quick resistance test. Now remember this little XL830L only goes up to two mega ohm and we're right at the cusp. Look at that, it is flashing 1.999. Okay, so, well, you know what, it works. Let's just bring this back to zeros. Going out of one mega ohm, hey, not too shabby. Let's try 900, 800, seven, six, five, four, three, 100. Well, you know what? That's not bad. I was pretty quick to settle and all things.
Whereas on the XLA30L, look what they've look done. At that. They've actually got that in a slot, almost like a pinball machine, just sitting there ready for action. That piezo is not taped onto the PCB like we see in a lot of cheapies. They've actually taken the time to make a little slot and stick it in there. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. That is a kind of cool thinking out of the box idea. Now the batteries are actually in the opposite place. The uh, battery for the Victor is at the top of the meter, whereas it's residing underneath the input jacks on the A30XL. Now, speaking of input jacks, definitely going to give this one to the Victor. Um, take a long, hard look at those. They're both split. Uh, no worries there. But the soldering job and actually the filament utilized is just much better overall on the Victor. On the Victor as well, you can see they have a standard current shunt, whereas on the XL830L, they have a current limiting resistor. On the XL830L, they have a pigtail style fuse on the milliamp range. Now that's around 200 milliamp. I'd assume that's probably a 250 milliamp pigtail in there. But yeah, to replace that, obviously you're gonna have to do some desoldering to get that fuse out and get another replacement. Now that being said, pigtails are a dime a dozen. These things are super cheap. You can get them on eBay for next to nothing but always a good idea to have some pigtails on hand. On the Victor, in contrast, we have two glass fuses, a 10 amp, 250 volt on the high current side and a 200 milliamp on the low current side. DT830L on the XL, we have a stamp date of December 13th, 2006. Mm -hmm. Stamp date on the Victor is October 30th, 2018. And if we take a look, it is a revised September 2019 PCB. That's also, the Victor, new. we have a diode clamp on the high current side of the thing, as well as a couple of current limiting resistors. And look at that, not one, but two PTCs on the voltage side. On the voltage side of the XL A30L, we have one lonely PTC. Now, let's not forget, this is a Cat 2 meter. This was rated as a Cat 3. Really, I would disregard that. I would consider these both Cat 2. Definitely fine for uh, household voltage. Um, definitely nothing Cat 3 about either of them. TL062C, that is a dual op amp on the Victor. And as well, I see not one, but two diodes. One of them here, obviously, for reverse input protection. As well, there's a trim pod here for a voltage calibration on the Victor. Kind of nice. They say picture's worth a thousand words, and I tend to agree. Look at the size difference on that PCB. Wow. At least 40% larger area, surface area on the Victor. And not only that, it's literally twice as thick. That just means better long-term reliability and an overall safer meter. Neither of the rotary selector tracks are greased, um, but definitely more surface area and better spacing on the Take Victor. Take a close look at those input jacks, the way they're soldered into the Victor, much, much improved over the little XL830L on the right. Yeah, what a difference. Now, where the heck? Did they put the speaker? What? <sighs> Closing thoughts on the 830L. Definitely the Victor takes the cake. It has everything you can want in a cheapo meter, except the light. Oh, too bad. Superior in almost every way to the XL A30L, the Victor really shined. It was better built, much better input protection, and overall just better performing meter. Um, the only thing that had me a little bit eh, was the fact that those fuses will be a bit of a pain to replace. Too bad, so sad, you just can't have easy fuse access, even on a cheapo. Still, the display was bright, bold, and in your face. And it had a really nice feel all around. Definitely a cheapo meter that puts a smile on your face. The Victor BC830L gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Hope you enjoyed this review, everybody. Christmas is coming around the corner. We're going to have a Christmas live chat giveaway. Stay tuned for that. That's coming in December. Ho, ho, ho. We're going to have fun. Thanks for all the comments, feedback. Keep it coming. Till the next one, keep on testing.